Trade is brought to you by ACY Securities. Tim Cahill's official FX and CFD trading partner. Hi, welcome to The Trade. Wonderful to have you here with us. Before we get to Peter Pan from ACY Securities and three hot charts he's brought, let's take a look at what traders are watching this morning. And the Nasdaq did hit that record close after Powell made some comments in relation to the producer price index, saying that he does expect inflation to fall, though not quite as confident as before. We do, of course, have our eyes out for that CPI, the consumer price index in the United States tonight. We did get the US dollar weaker on those rate cut expectations. We've just had the release of that wage growth data in Australia coming in slightly below consensus, seeing a uh, a slight retreat in the year on year index uh, growth in the index up by four four point one percent so seeing that ease slightly and come in slightly lower than expectations today we have earnings in Japan including Mitsubishi Mizuo and Sumitoto Sumio Sumitomo there you go Nadine and we have also been following that story on the US President Joe Biden hiking tariffs on Chinese EVs and chips and other Things like medtech as well. But welcome to the program, Peter Pan. He is joining us from ACY Securities. Peter, good morning. Welcome to Hi, you. Glad to join. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, one thing that we haven't talked a lot about this morning is the uh, uh, commodity prices through the overnight period. Uh, you've brought a gold chart. Tell us, hot or not? Okay, so the gold chart recently we have seen uh, some falls and back to rise. I think in the last interview I have already said, uh, in the last month, I have already said after the Iran has started attack with Israel, the gold price will get its top and keep going down. It is because uh, people have pressed in a lot of fear about world war uh, in the gold price in the past, like uh, from February to uh, uh, April uh, from for, for that two months. However, uh, when we check the attitude about the United States, about Iran, no one wants a total war. No one wants World War Three. So the fear is there, but the reality is no one want, uh, no one will get to that, that that point. So after Iran just attacked uh, Israel, and we have news that 99% of the rocket has been blocked, and that's the start of the uh, of the downward um, about the gold. Uh, at that time, I think I said the gold price may reach to 23,000, and after it breaks through 23,000, and it will keep going down, even go to 2,000. But something new has happened. Um, there is two two things. The first thing is that the Israel said they want ceasefire, even though there is an agreement. Uh, so the gold price has risen. But uh, I think most of people has already know the Israel will attack uh, Rafa. So at the day of attacking started, the gold price doesn't affect it. So uh, the the support is is. Um, is minimum for for this attack, but from the other side there is something new happened. Uh, it is the U.S. labor data uh, is worse. Uh, we are talking about the non-farm. We are talking about the unemployment rate, the hourly uh, earnings ratio, uh, and also the initial and continuous job loss uh, numbers. They are all worse, and not even a little bit worse. It is a lot worse than expected. Uh, then it started give pressure to the USD, US dollar, and it gives support to the gold price. So recently what we are focusing on is not about the war, it is about what the US data will go. Uh, so uh, especially after the bad job data comes out, it, it proves what Paul said uh, may be true. Uh, so uh, previously, uh, the Fed governor Paul has just said, uh, to cut the interest rate, there is two pace. The first pace is the inflation rate. It, keep, it keeps going down to 2%, which is not happening right now. The other pace is that the labor market has started to unexpectedly to be weak. 
So uh, w after those data comes out, the second pace may be true. However, we are still focusing on the other data, especially for today. We have retail sales data, we have NAHB uh, house ma housing market data, but most importantly is still the inflation data. T tonight, we will have the CPI data. Uh, so the expectation for the CPI is 3.6%, which is much below the previous uh, previous data, but I don't think it will be the case. Um, recently, the Wall Street uh, opinion about the CPI has been divided. We have seen the uh, Standard Chartered and also Morgan Stanley has said that in Q2, in the second quarter, the CPI or like, let's say the core inflation rate will going down very fast. Uh, I don't think it's the case. It's because the housing, the housing um, inflation is keep going going up uh, very fast. Or to be more specifically, it's the o OER is the owner equivalent rent, or which my opinion is totally different from the standard chartered. Is is because uh, I think OER is based on the people's expectation or, or the owner's expectation of the future housing market. Mm -hmm. It is based on the house price. It is based on the mortgage rate. It is also maybe uh, like uh, like the uh, the the the, chartist, the standard chart is set. Yeah. It is it is based on the all tenant rent. However, I, I think um, the mortgage rate is high. The housing price is not reducing. It will support the OER and it will support the core inflation rate. So to to be honest, I, I think tonight's CPI it, it will perform like yesterday's PPI will higher than expected, uh, it will be 3.7% or 3.8%. And at that case, I think the gold price, uh, the US dollar will goes up um, after the CPI comes out and the gold price will start again going down, no matter about the war, where, where the war will go. So I, my opinion is that in the, few, uh, in the further months, the gold price will keep going down or maybe going breakthrough to 2300. Got it. Thank you. Uh, look, just in the interest of time, we're going to go straight to GameStop. Unreal how this has performed um, even pre-market with Roaring Kitty coming back. Look at that chart. Just very quickly, tell us where to from here in your view. Okay, so uh, recently the GameStop, let's first talk about the fundamental. Fundamental is very bad. So the Q4 performance is worse than expected. Although it, it is it's profit, a start profit. After like several years of lose, it's start profit. But the performance is much more worse than expected. Uh, and it keeps, uh, let the stock market, a uh, stock price keeps going down. However, uh, after the Rolling Kitty, or we call the real name is uh, Keith Grill, uh, has come back to uh, like Twitter, or, or we call it X right now, uh, and sending some mm -hmm. sending a, a, a picture about a man sitting forward in a chair playing games. After that, the stock price has going crazily high. However, it's totally different. Uh, what uh, compared to what happened in 2021? Let's say, talk about the difference. So now, when we talk about Wall Street bet, you cannot post a lot of uh, like um, a lot of articles about GME. They have limited the number of your posts. They have moved those posts into a specific GME uh, like subs. So it, it's completely different. And the individuals or the participants studied in 2021 is not organized right now. Uh, it is some, it's more like sentimental. It's not like 2021 uh, people are, uh, because of the COVID people uh, or experts are blocked in home and they have gathering, they have organized to uh, to like shut the, shut the uh, to, to purchase the stock and makes and bet with the Wall Street. It's totally different, uh, different case. And what most important is that at in 2021, the short ratio is 140 uh, percent, which is uh, we we can say it's totally a naked short selling. And at that time, it is more easy to cause the market to short squeeze. But now it's not the case. The short ratio is only 24 percent. 
Uh, so it is hard to cause a short quiz as right now. And especially when Wall Street or those organizations has already know there will maybe um, this uh, will there may be this kind of situation start again. They have more uh, capital to to, to be ready to prepare for for those volatilities, so I I don't think uh, the the stock price will go in like 400, 300 mm -hmm. anymore. Uh, but but still we need to uh, consider uh, another upside risk is is about maybe Musk, Elon Musk will say something about uh, or or about other influencer will say something. But the difference is uh, Wall Street. Is ready now. All right. So don't buy it. Uh, it. The volatility will be very strong, but still going downside. Yeah. Proceed with a lot of caution, I'd say. All right. Peter Pan from ACY Securities, thank you. And just on that, we had the former SEC chair, Jay Clayton, saying that is this something we should to be tolerating in our markets? And this is a tweet that went out last night when GME was up, you know, tenfold. He says, um, yeah, the intelligent investor. Yeah, what's that? All right, let's uh, wrap this episode of The Trade. We'll be back in just a tick. The Trade is brought to you by ACY Securities, Tim Cahill's official FX and CFD trading partner.